Motion to me. Hey everybody, we are on, it, uh, let's just say it, it's, it's been a believers kind of run lately. Um, everything's been going great in Isaac. We've been having some tough runs that have turned out. Uh, regardless, check it out. Tainted Apollyon to Blue Baby. I will relish, at least for now, any opportunity to play as Tainted Apollyon. I love this character. I love, uh, I love the inverted mystery box, you know? One of the great philosophical quotes of our time. Lois, the boat is a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. Well, you know what this does? This turns all the mystery boxes into boats. By way of abyss. Would you believe that? If so, I got a boat to sell you. <clears throat> you know, I, can I tell you? People like what they like. I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know... Like, I mean, I, here's the thing. Because I'm gonna talk about boats. I have no interest in them. But if you're into fishing, or you're into boating, or like, uh, you know, maybe you live on the water. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna pay the prices you probably gotta pay to be on the water, you might as well make an investment in a boat that justifies, you know, part of the water existence to begin with, apart from just, you know, sitting on the dock with a hot cup of coffee, looking out over the water, trying to see the green light, um, you know, uh, the, uh, the green light. Hey, I can relate, uh, Jay Gatsby. You're, he's trying to see that green light. I'm trying to see the green night. They're both impossible, apparently. hi -o. Anyway, <laughs> you hear this one, Kevin? But I, I was thinking about it yesterday, because, you know, like, I mean, you, you can't, depending on who you, like, follow on, on Twitter, uh, you, you can't, why, why wouldn't you suck this item up? Are you stupid? It could have been a boat. Whatever. We'll, we'll put it down and suck it up later. Look, it's stored value. Um, hey, there's a lot of, like, we're, we're in a, a weird, like, uh, I would call it, like, a FOMO bubble, if that kind of makes sense. And I... I I'm just trying to be careful about my verbiage, but you know, a lot of for a lot of people, investments are going wild. Crypto's going wild. If you're into NFTs, I guess NFTs are going wild. I have essentially zero awareness of the space. Um, people are gambling on Twitch and you know making and or winning and losing. I should say most mostly losing, but uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars or or, or even more. Um, and I think you know I've been looking at some of this stuff. Through a, a very... I hit Q by accident, my mistake. <laughs> I've look, been looking at some of this stuff through something of a, a, a cynical eye, you know? Um, and I, I've said it before, I, I actually, like... Gambling streams... It, it, I'm not gonna say I've never watched any, especially Chibli is, is very funny. But I, I feel blessed that for whatever reason, like... My loss aversion in gambling is so high that if I lose, you know, 50 bucks, it feels like somebody stabbed me in the lung with a screwdriver. It's a, it's a vice that I, I feel lucky that it doesn't appeal to me. But at the same time, I'm sure that there, you know, there's things that I've spent my money on uh, that, uh, you know, people would look at in the same way. They'd be like, you know, hey, I, you know, you, you really spent like, uh, you know, $150 on a nice dinner for two. Like, you could have gotten several hours of uh, uh, pulls out of that and possibly had a chance at like a super jackpot so everybody's into different things but a boat is just one of those things that has it's just never man i really want to suck this up <laughs> is there a battery in there it's just never appealed to me for one i well they're still really good honestly uh i think we're just gonna have to say no to our eddie room unfortunately but so be it. It is what it is. So, leaving the first floor, we probably could have had two flies. Instead, we got zero. But we do have two items. We can always suck up the Beyblade later. Or whatever. Um, anyway, it's just one of those things. I've, I've never really found... Uh, never really found a boat appealing. I, I have gone fishing in my life. You know, I... Lived with my grandparents for a while. My grandpa was an avid fisherman. He had, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna think that you're gonna picture yachts, but he had like a, a a couple of boats. One of them was basically just like an uh, like an aluminum basin with a big fan on the back of it. Why not? 
Uh, and another one was like, it was, a, it was a bass fishing boat, so it's a little bit, you know, more, uh, I guess, advanced than that. But but still, certainly you're not looking at like a, a pleasure cruise or something like that, you know, like a, an ocean liner. Um, but still, you know, I'm sure they were pricey because boats are expensive. But I, I've been on boats. I, a friend of mine, uh, his parents got divorced when he was super young, so his dad bought a boat. I don't know if there's a typical, like, you know, single dad to... I guess it's not single dad, you're co-parenting, but you know what I mean. Divorced dad to pontoon boat pipeline, but but he, uh, he had a pontoon boat, so every time we would go to his house during the summertime, we'd go out on the pontoon boat. And even still, even still, I look at it, and I... You know what I say to myself? I say, eh! I could take it or leave it, quite frankly. Just doesn't appeal to me. It's it, When you're out on the... Don't get me wrong, the feeling of being out on the water, kind of nice. But then just like, you know, sitting out there in the middle of the lake, I don't know, I guess there's there's some tranquility that comes along with it, but... I don't know if it, if it strikes me the same way it strikes someone who may consider themselves a more avid boater, you know? But everyone's into different things. That's, that doesn't, I mean, I guess we should be careful to say that there are some hobbies I judge more than others. <laughs> it's not to say that, you know, as long as something's a hobby, there's validity to it. Oh, really? What about Dexter Morgan? Yeah, yeah, the, the guy, the blood spatter analysis, uh, analyst with the dark passenger. Oh, he had a hobby. It was murder. Is that okay with you? Well, you know, that wasn't really what I was getting at, but, you know, hey, let's get into the, let, let's talk about that. I'm, no. Let's talk about Dexter, a show I haven't seen past uh, the introduction of John Lithgow. I want to get Angel Deals. My reasoning is... Thus. <laughs> I think you take it. I think when I get myself into trouble as Tainted Apollyon is when I smelt necessary resources into flies. We got a good thing going right now. We, we have an adequate run with a good spacebar item. Was there a blood bank we could have played on that last floor with uh, Unicorn Horn? Was there anything we could have done with Unicorn Horn? You know, like even... Oh, you son of a... I, I want that. Um, you know, even just using it to kill some enemies instead of just holding it for no reason. Going into the curse room, for example, also plausible. This seems like a great way to use it. Let's, uh, let's chill for a second. Either way, the run is, like, it's, it's fine as is. Like, we're doing okay damage. And then on top of the run being fine as is... I mean, there's no point to Unicorn Horn here. Like, I'm not gonna get hit by these guys. These guys are annoying enough, I might consider it. Uh, on top of that, though, we have, uh... Humbling Bundle. Sorry, I'm still in Slay the Spire mode. I'm, I'm too analytical right now. We got Humbling Bundle. Humbling Bundle is going to pay for, you know, probably like several items over the course of its existence. Okay. I think that means we have a power pill back there. That's that's the reason I took it there. Lovely. Okay, let's check this. Mom's bra? I, I actually, I prefer it. Okay. So I guess the theme here is that every floor we're going to upgrade our spacebar item and then suck up the item we previously held. And to be honest, that might seem like we're missing out, but actually it gives us a great reason to not be so upset to see spacebar items. You know, normally, if you got to... I actually have kind of been enjoying the, the lighter so far. Um, normally, when you got like a 7 out of 10 spacebar item and then you get like a, you know, a 7.5, you're like, oh man, you know, 0.5 power, that's not that impressive. But I'm actually, like, I'm kind of of the opposite opinion now. I'm like, man, they're sick. We get an upgrade and we get a fly. Would you look at that? So I wouldn't mind playing an Eddie room on this floor. I think it's it's plausible. We have a blank rune that, if I'm being realistic, I just shoot for the moon on it. Uh, if we get an angel deal with a bad item. Or even just when we get our angel key piece. We might just use it as a potential pair throw. Or if we get a room with, like, a few spirit hearts on it, we could try to use it as... <laughs> saved. Uh, as a potential Yera. One makes you larger? Why do I know this? Didn't we have... Wasn't this a power pill a second ago, or am I... 
That's I don't think I've taken a one makes you larger. I'm not sure why that's identified. Uh, R slash glitch in the matrix. You know what? I'm realizing now if this is inaccessible, why not just hit it with one of those? Why not just hit it with one of those real quick? Incredible. World's smartest man makes genius play. I don't think we have another battery, so we probably won't get another. Oh, never mind. Would you look at that? I, I do think it's worth uh, taking the opportunity here. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I, I do have a Twitch Rivals today, so I'm just making sure that my, my Discord, everything is all set up today. Just want to make sure I got everything good to go, everything groovy. Nothing to worry about. You don't want to worry about the organization of the tournament. You just want to worry about, you know, playing Pawn to D4, checkmate. Okay. I Justice is just a good uh, card, honestly. Thank you so much for the double keys. I'm willing to play you down to zero. Like, let, let's give you a chance to disappoint me. We're not even done yet. Don't don't even worry about that. In fact, if I was being realistic, I would say we've barely even gotten started. We've barely even started to scratch the surface there. That was a great hit. You should get abyssed. You're just not good enough. No offense. <laughs> and then, let's see what you got for me. Oh, hey! We could have tried to double that, but... Would you look at this? This is, is so helpful. This is the power of having Humbling Bundle early. You can, you know, feel able to do stuff like this. Okay, now we have no bombs. What was I thinking? I'm so stupid. Did I... Item? Did you... Question mark? Oh, it's question mark card. Okay, I see. Um, well, well... I... I, I I still think we can play the Eddie room a little bit. Come live a little. Where's your sense of adventure? You mustn't be afraid to have a little fun. I'm like Eddie room. Oh, we can't heal off that. You know what? Screw the Eddie room, man. No, 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 no. Don't screw the Eddie room. Take some money. Give me a coin. Angel deal chance. I, I kind of just want to get to the random chest payout. You, uh, hold on. These pills are going to save our lives. We just have to be careful of, like, a wharf. I needed a chest. Excuse me. So one of these is going to be full health. I, I personally guarantee it. <laughs> There's, like, so little reason for us to be taking so much risk, but it's it's so good. A chest. Oh, baby. Now we can open that stone chest that's back there. Just watch out, man. Because if it's a wharf, we're not going to be too happy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you live, you learn. You cry, you learn. You, you scream, you learn. You know what Alanis Moore said? No? Okay, well, you know, why don't you learn yourself a little something something. Well, um, here's the thing. Take one of these. I'm not going to the Eddie room again. It's, with 2 HP, it's a fool's gambit. Well, and now it's all worth it. Unidentified pill. Hey, thank you for the range upgrade. Uh, we'll head down to the next floor. I mean, we're still in a really good spot. We're just low on HP. But we are going to uh, the streamer room, which is like, you know, it's one of, perhaps the easiest place we could possibly be. Kind of wishing we stuck with Unicorn Horn, but I do have to remember, we've gotten a lot of value. I'm drowsy. We've gotten a lot of value out of uh, being on... Mom's bra. It, it helped us kill the boss and only get hit once by a shot that never should have touched us in the first place. This is a perfect blank rune, blank rune opportunity because if it's per throw, beautiful, and if it's uh, algae, beautiful. 
that appears to be Alge's. I don't think we can do, like, the double plays here. I think you just gotta accept, like... I, I really wish we didn't have IV bag, just for the record. But we can at least suck IV bag up. We're just making a bit of a bolt for it here. We have to pick up IV bag so that blood bag can spawn later. Tons of money. Great stuff. Great stuff there. Hey, we got a great abyss coming. Okay. And that's right. We shouldn't be too upset about getting item pedestals, knowing that the abyss is is that valuable for us. Mm, that is uh, uh, enough to enough to turn a sane man into the Joker. I don't know. You can you can call me crazy on this one if you want. I don't I don't see a loss in our future. It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I get I can understand the mechanisms that would lead a gamer to losing. Uh, but I just, I don't see it happening to us. I, is that a roundabout way of saying I think we're built different? Yeah, I, I maybe, but... I mean, we're about to get a, a really nice value out of this. Two extra flies. That is really nice. I mean, they scale with your damage, which has already scaled as a res I, I just can't look at this room. <laughs> it scares the crap out of me. Which has already gotten a little bonus thanks to Champion Belt. Hey, here's the thing, man. Like, did we screw up our angel deal chance? Yeah, but that just means we're going to get it next floor instead. When it will absolutely 100%... I'm going to guess pay out with, like, a godhead. Just a just a modest godhead would really hit the spot. And then our flies get the awesome damage out of the godhead bonus. Maybe sacred heart. Like, you can never tell. I get They get confused in my brain sometimes. We've had hemoptysis, uh, which is probably not the way it's said, but... Either way, we've had it a lot lately. I think with such little HP, we don't really want to... We don't really want to get too dangerous with it, but... I'm, I'm happy to have it rather than suck it up. Although, in hindsight, I'm like, you know what? I think it would have been a decent suck target. Let's take... Uh Call me crazy on this one. I, I'm not sold that you take anything. Like, I, I think starter deck is fine, but I also... I think we could totally save money, donate it later. Save money, buy more items later. Uh, get a deal with the angel here that gives us a uh, stairway to heaven. And then save our money so that we can buy awesome items via stairway to heaven. Excuse me, I, I use mom's bra. It, it froze one spider nub. Hello, Peter, you spider nub. <laughs> One speed upgrade is is admittedly pretty tempting, but it's not as tempting as uh oh, whoops. Okay, and then check this out, man. Soul of Jacob and Esau. What do you do with Soul of Jacob and Esau? You uh play blood banks. You can play Eddie rooms with them, but we don't have any uh, Eddie rooms available. And this takes us. Oh, I didn't even see that tinted rock, man. How embarrassing. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually get it, but how, how embarrassing, nonetheless. And how bizarre. Ooh, baby, you're making me crazy. Every time I look around, every time I look around. Oh, what the? Get it, get it. He didn't get it. What's your problem? We should be able to do like an infinite play here. There you go. There, you Dude, this is... Saved. Okay, okay, that's great, but we don't have to pick it up right away. What is going on? I guess, like, it spawns with some items. What the? It's on the other side of the world, man. Living in a shotgun shack. I can't get it. Oh, oh no, now I played the Demon Judgment. <laughs> All right, well, alas, unless you give me some hearts here. Okay, an attempt had to be made. Don't cry for me. I never had a choice. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> you gotta admit, it was a smart play. Uh, did it work out the way I drew it up? Not necessarily, but it was kind of a smart play. 
before we leave this floor, we got other options, okay? Th see, this is Tainted Apollyon, man. Just so much fun. Just having such a fun time. Health down. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Now I think, like, dude, you can afford starter deck. You could definitely afford this son of a gun right here. You can definitely play this guy until he gives you an HP upgrade, which is really good. Really, really good and valuable. Key is great. A, a bomb would be nice as well. Might be worth all the money we're investing here. Restock. Hey, would you look at that? I think that's totally fine. I think restock is gives me a much more compelling reason to maybe, like, buy a little here. Eight cents for that is not necessarily a bargain, but... It does allow us now to be able to come back and blow this up. Get a, get a couple of spirit hearts. Even better. Maybe get a secret room? Oh, this is like... This is a miracle now. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. What do you do now? Well, now I think like you just be a, the smart guy that I always knew that I could be. And if we spend 25 minutes on this floor, then we spend 25 minutes on this floor. It's a necessary cost for gaming. The devil, okay. How about some of this? How about some of this? Into... I... <laughs> you owe me, man. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Fair trade. <laughs> at least we got... At least we got something out of it. But, like, man, what a what a slap in the face there. You know what I mean? What a, what a slap in the face. Wow, Loki, what a slap in the face. Every muscle in my body was screaming, do not do that. That diagonal walk was like the riskiest one I've ever done in my life. And for, for no benefit... Wait, hold on. No benefit. <laughs> you telling me you didn't see the three spiders? Oh, okay. Some people, man. Always want to make it look bad. Three cents. That's a great deal. Two devil cards is fine by me. I can live with that. We got HP... Considering the time that we invested here, we're leaving with very little. Counterpoint, that's hilarious. So take me down. This is our angel deal floor, man. This is what it's all about. How to spend 20 minutes on a floor and leave with no extra items. I'll just use one devil card, you know? Realistically, the odds of me not getting value out of one of these devil cards was approximately mm, 90%. And for the first time, the terror has set in. Jared Harris, I don't know who else is in it, now that I think about it. There a, lot, a lot of, you know, famous uh, British actors. Great show, at least I haven't seen season two of The Terror. Season one of The Terror, great show. Would highly recommend. I know I... Hey, wait. This guy, he's got... Does he have no principles? Does he have no scruples? First, he tells us he doesn't see the value of boating. And then he suggests a show, you know, a substantial portion of which takes place on a, on a naval vessel. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a bit of a flip-flopper. I'm something of a flip-flopper myself. I mean, any, if anything, I, what I will say is after you watch the movie The Terror, or the... the miniseries, The Terror, uh, which is actually a regular size series now that I think about it, uh, you may too find yourself not that interested in boating because of all the things you see over the course of it. It may make you rethink the pleasure of boating in your life. Am I, am I really going to do this? I think we got to give it a try. Let's give it a try. It's Necropolis 1. It's the hardest boss in the game. Pop the devil card. Devil. One thing I've learned here, okay? You just, you stay mobile. Like track three on who's next. Wait, no, track track five on who's next. It starts, it's Baba O'Reilly. I think then it's Bargain. Or maybe it's Love Ain't For I think it's Bargain, Love Ain't For Keeping. Then uh, Behind Blue Eyes is in there somewhere too, though. Where the heck is going mobile? Either way, it's a great song. Um, you just don't want to get hit by the spikes. 
There we go. Great stuff. 100% chance of a deal with the Angel. Easiest uh, suck we'll ever have in our lives, but we're not going to grab it just yet because we might want to suck something in here. You can only take one item. Um, I think... Uh, <laughs> it's fun. Let's, let's take this. And then I think we'll suck up the key piece into a fly. Because we don't want to fight Mega Satan. I mean, if anything, if anything, we, you know, desperately just want to be able to kill Blue Baby, which is still, I, I would bet on it. I, I would bet on belief in this situation, quite frankly. But And then I'm just going to walk into the key piece, like, for reasons that even I don't understand. But hey, you know. <laughs> you know what? Hey, what I meant to say is actually it gives us an 11% chance of uh, an increased deal with the devil later. So actually, you're the one who's wrong. <clears throat> you're the one who's out, Gabi, out of his mind. This is where normally I'd be like, it's early, but it's it's like it's 9.51 a.m. And I've already done a video today that required a substantial amount of arithmetic. So like there's... Limited excuses here. I don't think that this was the highest yield place for us to go, but that's okay. Like, we, we'll, we'll save that other heart for later. I have a sneaking suspicion it will probably still be uh, important to the cause there. What are we going to do? We're going to keep moving here. The only thing I can really say is, like, does it look like we've mismanaged the run? A little, but simultaneously... Where were we supposed to get HP? You know, we, we got an, one HP upgrade. We didn't suck it up. We took a pill. It was a health down. What are you going to do? We played a blood bank uh, a ton, and it gave us an IV bag. We played another I, uh, blood, bag, uh, blood bank a ton. What did it give us? Just money. So I think we've really, like, you know, we're just... We're, we're in, like, Doctor Strange territory right now, right? Like, are we in the... Are we in the 14 million or are we in the one right now? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you, but I'm hoping we'll get there at some point. At present, I'm uh, just having a fun time gaming. And and I like a run that is a little close to the edge, you know? <clears throat> I think we need to take it. Our existing... I mean, our range is not great. And we did just suck up a range upgrade. But I, I think the important thing is to not let that factor too much into the decision. You know? The, the recency bias, perhaps. Instead, I looked at this and I said, What's worth more? The ability to actually kill enemies with our tears? Or nah? <laughs> I don't think compost works the way I want it to here. Can I tell you? I, I think we can actually get away with this right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get dangerous like like Darkwing Duck. Let's buy a 15 cent. Let's just see if it works. We knew that was likely, but um, we have no more bombs. But that's a double abyss right there, and then we can use the eraser once per floor. Oh, we don't have a key. What happened to my key? What happened to my key, man? How come I don't have key, man? How come he don't want me, man? Anyway, I don't think the eraser is exceptional, necessarily, late in the game, but, eh. Being able to, to I basically just use this, like, immediately on whatever enemy might show up. I think it also helps out our economy on uh, trying to get more charges for Abyss, which is not you know, incredibly prescient, but whatever. I don't know, man. I, look, I don't know, okay? The run's weird, but it's fun. Like American McGee's Alice. I missed. Hmm. That's, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be suboptimal. That's the one that'll stick in your craw a little bit. I'm over it. Okay. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. A little sloppy in the in the Isaac today. But I got to tell you, 
you know, this is a false dilemma. I'll tell you that I'll, I'll out my, my intellectual fallacies to begin with, okay? I don't want to misrepresent this. This is a false dilemma. There's no reason I couldn't be good at both of the games that I play. Forget that room. Uh, and, and the battery does not charge the eraser, by the way. That's just... I, I want to get that out of the way, because I know that... People are gonna... Even after saying it, they're gonna disbelieve it, but I just take my word for it, please. Um, but if I could only... If I could choose to be sloppy in Isaac and great in Slay the Spire, or vice versa, I would choose to be sloppy in Isaac and, and switched on for Slay the Spire, and that's, that's how things are going so far today. I'm not that great at Slay the Spire, so I gotta pretty much be playing at peak performance to have a reasonable chance of doing anything impressive. In Isaac, I, I've, I think I have played the game in my sleep a few times. So having the ability to, you know, be at peak performance is not relevant for the majority of runs. It happens, and, and when it happens, I love it, because it gives you a chance to, to stunt a little bit, but... Most of the time, it's, it's not of the utmost importance. Plenty of consumables here, finally. I don't think we'll waste a bunch just opening that golden chest. This room is still, like, one of the most cursed rooms in the whole game. Yep. <laughs> if there's a better way around that, I... Like, that, that might be the jankest room that shows up the most frequently. I almost did a diagonal walk here. That's... Don't you know I'm loco? Beautiful item. Might even give us a little extended range. Hate seeing a, a, a valueless shop here, but you know it is what it is. Good dodging. I'll, I'll settle for a spirit heart. Oh, that could be even better, honestly. The sun gains spirit of the night and the empress. We can take both. The sun, for the current level, turns red hearts into bone hearts, but reverts when the effect ends. Plus 1.5 damage up, applies Curse of Darkness. Okay, so this is, like, certainly not the best way to do this. But I'm act <sighs> I'm gonna become the Joker. I'm gonna, um, pop, pop this just to get flying. I'm gonna use it as, like, <laughs> I'm gonna spend an extra key anyway. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna, you know, just use it thusly uh, in order to open that golden chest for a fraction of what it would have actually cost us to open it. Um, let's go ahead and open this one. A strength card is very nice. It's very, very nice. Well, let's use our last key to open this. Uh, we need bombs for the future, so sure, that's... I'm, I'm not mad or whatever. We still have... Uh, don't get trapped there, man, because you're going to revert in like a second here. We can at least go in here for free on the way in. Uh, sure. Um, I mean, we probably should go back and get that rune. It said current level. You think it lasts uh, It lasts for the whole floor? I mean, we have different parlances, but we, we bleed the same blood, you know? It's all Isaac, baby. That's Soul of Eden. Activates D6 and D20 at the same time. D6 and D20. You know what I'd do if I had a million runes? D6 and D20 at the same time. Office space, anybody? Little known indie indie gem. Uh, DAE, office space. I gotta check for the secret room. Okay, I did not have to check for the secret room. I think we should be fine here without taking damage. Just remember, I mean, like, our, our actual killing power, look at this, it's, it's exceptional. We should be looking at the Polaroid here. I'd love to see a deal with the Angel. We'll get one next floor. We take the Polaroid, we're down to the next floor. Okay, okay, now it's time to get smart. I personally, it's a neat lighting effect. Things you didn't expect to hear yourself saying in Isaac. I missed? Dude, I mean, I, I never miss these days with a Chaos card. The Eraser is throwing me for a loop, though. Um, don't touch me. I, I would have thought that by this point in the game, we would have had an HP upgrade. But you know what? I, I, I take it as a vote of confidence. 
that the game itself is like, hey, you only need two HP. That's it. You don't you don't need anything more than that. <laughs> um, this is this is a viable opportunity to use a strength card. I just wanted to see what else we got available to us before we make a decision. High priestess, uh, funny joke. So we, we can always come back here and possibly use a strength card to, you know, if we can get to a blood bag, the world is your oyster. And by that, I mean you have 3 HP. You, you have literally the starting HP of, like, the average character in this game. <laughs> also known as the world is your oyster. Man, if we just beat the odds drastically, we could regress to the average here. Things you don't want to hear yourself saying this deep in the game. We we might prefer to use that as a red heart. And I know that I know how it sounds, but you know, a spirit heart is one hit one time. If we could leverage this as a way to somehow get to I mean, I think we go for I think we go for the fight here, but I think if you could leverage it as a way I can't talk. I have to focus. You! Okay, pop strength just to stay stay frosty. We still got a 0.3% chance. 1 in 300. Pick a number. I picked uh, 167. If you picked one... If somebody, if, if we had enough people doing it, like, I don't know, 10 people maybe should have... Maybe more than 10 people should have gotten it. Let's take the ability to fly. Let's suck up the eraser. It's done nothing for us because I'm bad. We can now fly, which is very nice. And I think, I mean, you, you know what I'm going to say. You, you got to you gotta give it a chance. You got to take a chance on me. If you change your something and you something a who. And you something a dare to take a chance, 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 take a chance. Um, 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 erm, erm. Yes. You, got, you can't go too hard on this one. Because it'll, it'll lie to you and make you think you're more invincible than you actually are. I really, like, I think with 3 HP, the run is not winnable, it's easy. That's interesting. Um, yep, I knew that was coming. Let's go pick up our, our HP. It's just a little spooky. It's just a bit spooky. Remember, the card is uh, the the question high priestess. Also known in my vernacular as unusable unless you have a death wish. Technically, we could go to our curse room. I'm scared. I mean, I'll say it. I got guns to my head. I think I'm going down. I can't believe it's happening in my hometown. I have wings and I can fly, so let me contemplate. Uh, we, dude, we need more keys. If we get some more keys, then the run could turn out great. Kid, kids bop regulate by Warren G and Nate Dog. There you go. I've got... Uh, I've got 16 clips on TikTok and 12 Oreos. Kids bop is about to make... Some happy fun times. Now they're clapping and yelling. It's a tad bit late. Kids bopping more in G. Had to. I am looking at my. Uh, I'm looking at the the sun card here, and I'm wondering. I'm just wondering. Please, what we could get out of it. I mean, we should have maybe saved some d20 capabilities here with the like not picked up all the money that dropped on the ground so that we could d20 instead that's probably substantially smarter um but i'm also wondering like can't we use the bone hearts to take a little bit less damage okay you know what we do i hate to do it i hate to do i hate to do it it's a judgment Judge. it's a regular judgment back on top Thank you so much. I will not forget your sacrifice. 
Did you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like there's a home improvement demon upstairs, maybe? Uh, I, I don't think we can play it anymore. I think we've got to own up to the fact that I said if we get 3 HP, the run will be easy. Okay, now prove it. We got our 3 HP. I, this run, in most circumstances, would probably have like 6 HP. We played a lot of blood banks. We played some beggars. Um, we got a health down pill. Like, that. that's just stuff that most of the time is going to work out okay for you. But, like, if we have to play Judgments just to have a chance at success, then, you know, hey, I'm, I'm thankful the game has so many avenues uh, for that to come to pass. Forty minute run. I'm always like, I gotta rework. I mean, this is actually good, but let's have some fun. <laughs> this beat is sick. Um, I gotta rework like my my workflow. Like, it's early enough in the morning. A, a longish run doesn't actually like impact me right now. Um, however, I'm gonna die. Maybe. I'm so scared. Saved. Uh. But, like, the average... We're gonna suck that up, too. The average Isaac run is no longer 45 minutes, which is what I've, I've used as, like, a stopgap for my recording for so long. But I've used as a, as a little, like, dictionary definition of how long I expect a video to take uh, when it comes to planning purposes. Oh, wow, it's right there. Um... Now I'm like, I, we, we got to start thinking of it like it's it's pretty much an hour soup to nuts. Now, just in case we get a deal, I think it's worth getting Abyss charged up. Because, you know, like, what do we got? Like, 12 flies? I snooze. But, man, imagine if we had 13. That, that 13th fly just hits different. So we do one more room. Pretty blessed. It's a, it's a relatively easy one. Get the heck out of here. And... You know, I, I hate to say I told us so, but can I tell you that I, I mean, what did I say? 3 HP? We're at 3 HP. If we were at 2 HP, if we'd be dead. If I had 2, I would die. If I had 2, I would die. Did you, if you, if you don't watch the streams, you might have missed. I, I feel like I blew the, uh, pun intended, I guess. I blew the case wide open for Eiffel 65. Blew his house with a blue little window. And a blue Corvette, and everything he sees is blue, like him. Because he ain't bo he ain't got nobody to listen, to listen. Hey, you ever consider that maybe not everything is blue, but everything just appears blue because you've got a blue window that you're looking out of? Dummy. Facts don't care about your feelings, blue alien from the Eiffel 65 blue music video. You ever consider that? I would like to leave the room. <laughs> We're turning... Yeah, you know this song? We're turning your bedroom back into the computer room. We're turning your bedroom back into the computer room. I can't hit that note. It's only, only Frank Stallone can hit that note. I would like some hearts. Mm, well, I did it to myself. What can you say? That's what really hurts. Oh, well, after all this, after I fought for a victory, you are going to let me have the victory. <laughs> Four room on the, uh, on the cathedral is a bit of a wet fart. Look at the damage when we walk up here, man. You seeing this? Terrible. That was horrible. But look, one barrage of flies, like, look at the, the speed that we output damage there. It's it's a beautiful thing. So, I I don't know. I guess we'll use uh, the Tainted Sun card. If it is a, a floor-length buff, then we should use it at the start. Wow. Wowie. Owie. We should use it at the start of the chest. I'm not sweating it, man. This is just it's another day in paradise. Yeah, chill. Daddy, chill. Um, holy, holy 
water is is nice. What? <laughs> Thank you much. Okay, well we don't need to play you. You got no talent. See you later. Beauty. This is one of those weird runs, you know, where you, you don't know whether to say, like, thank you for the luck that I got. Or you or do you say, you know, screw you that we required this much luck in the first place, you know? Like, I think we got unlucky to need as much luck as we had to get. Which is a very, you know, interesting yet confusing statement. I thought those were my beams. We got we got really lucky I didn't get tagged like seven times there. <laughs> you can't just hang out in the corner. It, it's pretty consistent, but this is a run where we need a little bit more than pretty consistent. Great fight, though. Great fight. Okay, and then the chest, we got real value here. Okie dokie. Uh-huh. That's very nice. Thank you. Candy heart. Rune bag could do something. Tech X, or sorry, Technology Zero, pretty solid. And the D1 is interesting, but uh, yoink, I never had a choice. Okay, easy sun card. Little, little damage bonus. It, it does have an impact on the video stream, but you know what? I'm all about the integrity of the game, okay? That's like the number one thing you need to know about me. That's why I don't like to break the game, is like, dude, this game made me, you want me to break it? Hardly seems fair, honestly. It, it, I mean, that seems like it breaks the golden rule. No, not the one from the Lonely Island where they go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no. I'm talking, to, sorry if you just woke up, by the way. But also, like, this is high octane entertainment. I'm not saying you shouldn't sleep to this, because, uh, you know, sleeping viewers leave no comments, which is a, a, a dream for a creator. Um, that, as long as you like the video. Uh, but, you know, I'm talking here. It's rude to fall asleep while somebody's talking. Do I do it every night? Yeah. Just ask your mom. <laughs> That's so... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The golden rule. Please, you're dead. Let me out. Like you're just, you're just, you're not an intellectual for one, and you're wasting your time for two. I love using the horse not as like an invincible attack, but as like a totally unnecessary dodge instead. Are you seeing the assortment of items we're receiving here? Like, this has been all the good items were backloaded here. Another thing you can ask your mother about. Um. Just, just vile. Just, just vile. When did this? You used to be so erudite, NL. Now you're making jokes about the matriarch of my proud family? Yep. What the heck is this? Spawns a grab bag upon traveling to the next floor. What is this? It's a trinket. Okay, I thought it was just a tiny little consumable. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, we got a, we got a bunch of great items on the chest, and would you look at that? The prophecy came true. Three hearts equals easy win. Two hearts equals uh, sit and spin. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click a like button. That was a great deal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.